Just upping the gamma a little bit so we can see. Ah! See what's going on. What the hell was that? I mean, that's this game in a nutshell, really, isn't it? What the hell was that? Oh, but it ran off to the right. I suppose we just need to check every room again now, don't we? In case new notes have popped up. Who is going, ah, in the toilet? Who is that? Who the hell is that? Looks like he crawled into the ventilation. I mean, all these scares keep happening. I'm not, see not seeing them. I just get this loud noise and the screen shakes and goes blurry. And then I, I'm told by the narrator what just happened. Someone's crying again. And it's over to the right. Come on, it's fine. Another note. Don't look up. Don't look up, what does it mean? It means don't look up. Ah, oh, fuck, are we gonna look up, guys? Oh, it's doing it for me! Oh! Crap! Apparently. Sounds like we've got a naughty ceiling dweller. Ah, shit. Look at all these open tiles. Bad news for Steve. We're recording, aren't we? Yes, we are. Ah! Look what's opened for us. Now, you're not going to scare me this time. What the hell is this? Achievement. Walls remembers something terrible was going on in this building. They were having a proper rave, weren't they? Listen to that. Oh. Oh, gosh. I'm doing a flouncy run out of the room. At least the teddy bear's got his... Oh, note. I thought it was a packet of M&Ms. Um, what's that? Scary nurse, some scary aliens, and a teddy bear injecting heroin. Just what you want to see in a game such as this. Ah, oh, it's dark and I saw something running this way. Is someone helping me? Someone gives me hints is the achievement that just popped up. We're getting achievements left, right and centre here. Look, there's someone in the window. What are they doing? Oh. Of course, it's locked. Follow me. Please. Follow the, the beheaded teddy in the, uh, in the wheelchair. I mean, that, that's definitely not opening, so. Right, we'll follow you. Where did he get here and this strange picture? Indeed, well, I can hear the squeaky wheels of the wheelchair going this way, so let's follow it. Let's follow it. There you are. Right, okay. Teddy in an incredibly badly drawn wheelchair. It's all very ice... not isometric. What's the word? Like the wheels just being sideways like that. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, in some room. I don't think I can differentiate that room from the other ones. Oh, I'm going to have to, though. Apparently the room looks familiar. Okay, so we've got two windows, first of all. Desk by the left window. Oh, well, there'll, there'll be a teddy in it, so we're just going to have to go and search some of the rooms. I have a feeling it could be this way. Although, it doesn't sound like it. It sounds like it's further down the corridor. Was it this room? No. Don't look up. So it's blocked off the, that room. So we don't go in there. Shut up! Be quiet! You must be quiet. If you're not quiet, I shall make you quiet. There's Teddy. Teddy bum. What's your note say? 
Oh my god. Okay, what's this? So in a corridor... Is that a key on a plate between two sinks in the bottom picture? Okay, right, let's decode this. So there's a, a clock on a corner somewhere. We turn round it. We go through that corner. Then we go past two doors or into one of those two doors. And then there's a key. It looks like the hallway I was in. The familiar clock on the wall, there should be a door somewhere near them. Nice. Is this the corridor you were in? Is that a clock? That's the clock, yes. And then we go left down here! God damn, I'm getting so... <laughs> Shit. What the fuck was that? Yeah, good question. I've got new neighbours, guys, and it's a Saturday, and they haven't experienced this yet, so I'm going to have to do some pretty strong fucking firefighting. Um... <laughs> to explain what the hell's going on. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, toilets. Ah, between two sinks, hello. No, don't dismiss it, take the key. Why on earth would I dismiss it? Oh, having the guy run through me was awful. Right, that light suggests let's go that way. So let's go that way. If ever I'm really struggling, I look at the little recording screen on this screen I've got here. Hang on. Oh, God. I'm not going to be able to show you properly, but you can sort of see it there. Oh, there's... There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's my second screen. And uh, I look at that just to make sure that I don't get a full-blown big jump scare. Kind of takes me out of it a little bit, so it's cheating. But needs must. Mm -hmm. Needs must. And I had a need. So I must. Ah, we've got the key for this door. Because the weird goblin creature didn't let me th through. Oh, cutscene time. Hello. Mm. What is this place? Apart from darker than anywhere we've been so far. Achievement unlocked. Where am I? What is this place? Of course. <clears throat> oh, we'll follow the, the black blood. Yeah? It finishes here. Does it continue there? No. Yes. Oh, more crying. Oh! Are those spooky eyes? Oh, they look like spooky eyes. There's something crouching in the darkness looking at me. Yay! Looking at me. This game is scaring me. So many people, men, women, and children. And for what? Why have we done all this? It was clear from the start that this was bullshit. Dr. Borkhoff. What did he try to achieve? I think he just loves to hurt people, gets off on torture. I am glad they are shutting down the project, but the blood on our hands? I don't think it will ever come off. Oh, we can look at Teddy. It's a first, I think. Who just... Ah! Oh my, who was that? He was so close to me, I saw his face. That sucked. Oh, goblin creature. Wow, this... This game, I think, is going to contain all of the John of the Month contenders. Especially since it's probably the only game we're going to play in October. Lol, 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 lol. Go downstairs. Hell, oh, what the smell? I'm going to have to start using that. What the smell? Come on, where's Gollum? It's just Gollum. We're not scared of Gollum unless he wants his ring. Oh, fuck me. What the smell? Okay. Uh, was that a note? It was not a note. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? This thing is just huge. Wow, that has... That was unexpected.
What else are we going to see? Another huge tank tank here. Oh, it's another one. If any of these... They need to cut their toenails. Look at that. Any one of these suddenly moves. I might brick a shit. Oh, God. It's always the third one as well. Which I suppose was the first one if I'd been looking at them. Don't jun me. Don't jun me. Good. Right. Interesting. That was Law Corridor. Corridor Law. I think we carry on this way, right? We turn left? Yeah, we did. We turned left to go down, down there. Just don't rush at me suddenly in the out of the darkness. I can't handle this. Heart rate's okay. We're in the yellow. Thanks. Orange heart rate for proving me wrong. Back in the yellow. 81. Nice. The latest experiment was a success. Can't say the same about previous cases, but this time the subject seems stable. Muscle mass increases steadily. However, intellectual capacity continually declines. It would appear the subjects experience total memory loss. They have no recollection of who they are and what happened to them. It's got to be a, a mad German doctor, hasn't it? That's good for us, right? All the subjects have gone completely bald. They're just wandering around the place as if they own it. Their voice cords have undergone irreversible changes, and they have lost the ability to articulate words. Oh, we're starting to lose that, that uh, German accent, Austrian accent. They now emit weird noises akin to laughter or something else entirely. Another peculiar upgrade is the eyesight. The subjects can see definitely see... Can see, definitely see. Steve, 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 Stoppy, Stoppy, see in total darkness. And their eyes seem to reflect the light, rather hauntingly, really. The subjects... I can't read. I'm saying words that aren't written there, or I'm saying them in the wrong order. I'm not dyslexic, I'm just a dumbass. The subjects are getting more and more aggressive towards personnel. We still manage to keep them under control. So far, so good. Unfortunately, we cannot... Still cannot determine what cause... It's because I'm trying to concentrate on the accent. Just shut up and get through it, Steve. What causes loss of signal between subject brain implants and our machines? But we are working on it. Let's continue the research. Okay. Oh, do we think that this thing's benevolent, trying to help me, trying to tell me about all the shit that's been going down? Achievement unlocked. Experiments. Terrible experiments on humans. Just in case I needed reminding. Ah, oh, fuck. What was that? Ah, oh, should we go this way? Oh! Oh, shriek. Oh, shriek. Shriek! Ooh, a video. Oh, man, is that a dead body? There's a note next to him. And a video. Oh, wow. That is a dead body. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. I, I cannot see what that says. Fuel canister generator light. Is someone helping me? Is this a map? Right, fuel can. There. Generator. Light. Platform. I and mean, we will take that, obviously. Where's the fuel can? So it's down by a load of square things on a wall. It could be security monitors. That could be there. That's probably where it is. Then we don't actually have anywhere that it shows us to take it. But I think someone is helping me by just turning lights on wherever I need to go. So that's helpful. There's a fuel can. Now I need to find a generator. Bet you'll be out here. Oh, it might not be. Could be in... Here. Why? Is that it? No. Yeah, I think the generator's going to be out here. Feels more generatory out this way. Just run. It's all good. Oh, come on. Get to an end. Look, here's the... Well, that was a person. Here's the cable leading to something, either whether it's whether it's the power 
Supply. Being the generator. There's another fucking can of fuel. Or whether it's the lights. Maybe the lights are this way. No, no, no. It's the generator. Sick. Let's, uh... There you go. Filled up the fuel. There should be a start button somewhere. Surely it should be on the generator. Ah, crap! No, no, no. What's he gobbling? He's gobbling something. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Right, start button that isn't on the generator itself. We can't go that way, despite Gobble Gollum trying to lure us that way. Should be a start button somewhere. I mean, I'm clicking everything I can... There it is. Let there be lit. Let there be light. What is that sound? Assume not talking about the generator. Talking about the vast machinery that's just begun. Let there be light, says the achievement. Or is it those enormous things in the tanks suddenly coming to life? That is what I reckon it is. The implant issue is not fixed still. We cannot read their minds. We cannot give them orders. They keep silent. However, sometimes it feels like they are communicating with each other mentally. They exchange glances, give tiny little nods. They resemble a pack, as if they all share a mental link. At this point in time, we cannot confirm we reached original project goals. We still do not control the subjects, so using them for military purposes is out of the question. However, we've definitely reached a breakthrough in a different field. It looks like we created a new species. And all this without a flashlight. Just to highlight my own achievements here. Is that Teddy? Looks like a generator as well. Now piss on it, piss on it, piss on the chair. Someone is here. What? <sighs> where, where are the lights? That's what I need next. I've just been lured down this corridor by sounds. And by forgetting what I was doing. Uh, the cables kind of end there, which is a shame. I was hoping there might be some lights to turn on. That's an IV stand, Steve. Those aren't lights. Oh, what's going to be down here? No! They're everywhere at the moment, slapping about with their little clammy feet. Right, the lights are this way, because look, the cables are leading along here. I'm really hating this. I'm just trying to... I can get through it as quickly as possible. Thanks, Southerdane, for the really enjoyable experience. <laughs> oh, the latest experiment was a success. My God. So I wrote an essay about it. I can't say the same about previous cases, but this time the subject seems stable. Muscle mass increases steadily. However, intellectual capacity continually declines. Continuously declines. It would appear the subjects experience total memory loss. They have no recollection of who they are and what happened to them. That's good for us, right? All of the subjects have gone completely bold. Hang on. We read that one already. Uh, right, well, I don't know where the lights are, then. And here, we're just going back the way we came, right? Yeah, we are. <sighs> I think we go into the main room. The lights will be in there. The experiment room! I realise that's not a, a typical German accent. I'm just doing the sort of... You know, Dr. Sigmund Freud, Germanic accent. The stereotypical one. The TV worked. I need to see if I can watch that tape. I guess the lights turned on automatically then, as, as evidenced by the lights being on. Let's watch the tape. 20th of December, 1985. Switch, tab. All right, let's watch the, t the TV. What's this? I will have to read that soon. Hang on. Previous batch died. There's a new serum. Faster and smoother. Uh, the best one yet. We stand exposure to all the viruses and bacteria introduced. All right, so we're, we're improving, it seems. Let's play this. Watch the TV, and we can crouch with our enormous shins, and we're still not really quite eye height. Turn the TV on. Yeah, cool. 
Oh dear. There is Dr. Borkhoff. Doing some science. And the patients. Very overexposed, I'd have shot that differently myself. Is this a record of the experiments that took place here? How oh, is some people cosplaying on a Friday? They really experimented on people. Well, you didn't need the video to tell you that. We've got notes and golems everywhere. It's terrible. Oh, it is terrible. You're right. I hadn't really thought about that. I've just been... Oh my god, that's what the noise was. Uh-oh, I see a ladder leading down into te darkness. Should we check for more... Story mode notes round this way. You never know. I think the guy we're playing as is a little bit slow on the uptake. He's just realised that there were some experiments going on. There could even be something in here with me. I'm sure he'll come to that realisation soon. You're right. Ah! Well, that'll teach me, won't it? I was going to be silly and go and pretend and give him a kiss. Shouldn't do that with monsters. Oh, yes, we can. We can get on. Oh, my God. Again, no flashlight. No torch whatsoever. We've just been using the light that's available to us. They are closing the project. One of the recent subjects escaped, the one from the latest batch. It tore several lab assistants and a couple of security guards to pieces and vanished into the vents. We tried to stop it by initiating a lockdown, but it looks like it managed to escape before the vent dividers fully closed. Oh god, what have we done? We were supposed to create remote control super soldiers, and we created an apex predator with human intelligence, ferocious strength, unparalleled agility, and night vision. I hope they capture the subject soon, or else I don't want to think about it. Well, I think it's helping me. I think it, it wants something from me. And it can't help being spooky scary. Achievement. Cave. Strange cave. Thanks, achievement. Oh! No, it doesn't work. We shouldn't look behind us when that happens, really, should we? Is that two eyes? Stop moaning. Nothing to moan about. It's all fine. You've got a lovely little dank cave down here. Super soldier. Right. Where's the Jun coming from? Ah, uh, no Jun. Okay, Dr. Borkhoff told ordered that everyone should leave the lab today, told us to leave everything behind, said the experiment had failed and we would never be able to control them. All project documentation will be destroyed. The subjects shall be put under and transported to a separate location. They are closing us down, the hospital on top of the lab as well. This is it, months of work gone to waste. I don't know what's going to happen next. I guess they will burn the place down or extend the lockdown indefinitely. Either way, our vital mission will be forgotten. Ah, screw that. I just want to get out of here. We all do as soon as possible. Sometimes, when you listen closely, despite all the movement and shouting and noises, you can hear something knocking in the vents. Oh, those horrible noises give me the chills. Thanks for ending on a spooky note there. You were saying, like, it's all over. Everything's gone. No more to worry about. But, you know, spooky noises in the venties. Is that a camera? I want the walkie-talkie. Oh, we clicked camera. Camera, someone's camera. This must be the footage from it. Is it my footage? Oh my goodness, look at all those eyes. 
Yeah, this will be a previous uh, Urbex vlogger. Wow, I had it easy. What they have to deal with? Looks like he had as much trouble as I did. Whoa. That's grim. I don't like that. I much preferred the get back in the car ending. What the hell? I recognise the locations from the video. I've been there. That plush teddy bear on the table. All right, fine. I've had enough. I need to get out of here. Look at all these cameras. Hang on. Let me just put the put the graphics up for a moment, just to just to see. Because I've scaled the resolution right down so it'll actually play properly. But oh, actually, yeah, no, I see it is lagging. But we can, oh, we can see so much easier now. I think we've played on scarier mode though, doing it the way we've done it. Because we've had to have, we've had to work out what things are in the in the weird darkness. Um, there we go. We've, we've made it a, you know, PlayStation 2 era kind of game, or PlayStation 1 era kind of game. Is that a drone? Let's get out of here quickly, says the achievement. Let's indeed. Before the nasty bastards get us. Did I say nasty bastards? I meant lovely, lovely slimy cuddles. Damn, the sound is like the generator shut off. Great! Good, so more darkness for us. I mean, we've had darkness this entire time, so I'm about 30% scared at this stage. Yeah. Slight internal jam there, I think. Nothing too bad. Oh god, it's going up. I'm about 45% scared now. Oh shit, don't look over me. Don't... Oh my god, that sound. Is that how they communicate with one another? Oh, You scary teddy. No need for that. Can we pick you up? There's blood here now. So I've got to go back through the entire hospital. Well, lab and hospital. Shit this. Alright, you're over there, so we'll, we'll ignore you and go this way. Oh! We've entered a cutscene. Good stalk troopers. Oh! Awfulness. I'm glad I don't have to play this. And just watch. Is it better? Oh, is that my skellywag? Oh my god, they were chasing me. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. Interesting. Oh, at least it didn't make me go all that way. <laughs> Achievement. Chase. Oh my, they were chasing me. Just run for the exit, Tim. Just for the exit. It was a big mistake to come here. So I got the good ending straight off at the start, didn't I? Wait, where's the exit? Fuck, is this the exit? Uh Shit, 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 fucking hell. Don't freaking stop. It's as fast as I can sprint. I'm assuming the exit was the entrance. I'm going to ignore what the big sign on the ceiling earlier on said. <clears throat> I assume this is the exit. Barge. Get out, 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 get out. Abandoned souls. Amazing video, I've recorded a video, says the achievement. I have recorded a video. And I liked it. I recorded it just to try it. I hope my boyfriend doesn't mind it. 
Oh my goodness. After Tim released the video, the police decided to investigate the place. They dispatched a team who turned the place upside down. Plenty of documents, machinery and clothes belonging to people who had gone missing throughout the years were uncovered. Nothing and no one else however was found. State authorities expressed official gratitude to Tim. Many relatives and friends of those who've gone missing and whose documents have been recovered have thanked Tim, albeit unintentionally shedding the lives on the false ones, the loved one's fate. Holy shit, that was an intense last bit of dialogue to read. Of writing to read. Well done, Tim Game. I've forgotten your name already. Tim C UK Game. Emica Games and so on and so forth. Boy, that was a horrible nightmare. I was not expecting it to go the way it did with the whole um, failed experiments in the in the caves under a hospital kind of thing. I thought it was just going to be spooky ghosts there. So well done Just Tom C UK or Tom Chuck for doing that. That was really scary. Uh, thank you Southern Dane for gifting that. I, I will have a good time watching that back. I can't say I enjoyed playing it. Um, but hey, there we go. Thanks for playing. Well, thanks for developing. I'm not going to give it a rating out of 10 because that's obtuse, but it's not obtuse, it's arbitrary. But thank you for making that. That was uh, an enjoyable one. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Let me know what you thought of Abandoned Souls. Anyhow, love and peace to all of you. See you on the next video. Bye-bye. That's that button. Smash!